Are you rebuking this committee? Why am I supposed to rebuke the committee? I am you not. You have been saying things for a while. What? You have been rebuking this committee. You we are saying not, that? We are not blaming the Vice President on this. I, I, I asked the question. Marcoleta, I asked the question. We are not I mean, blaming the right to suspend. One minute, one minute, one minute suspension is the chair. Move to suspend. I'd like to ask only, Mr. Chair, by way of manifestation, is there anybody who is questioning the power of the force of Congress? Is there anybody who is questioning the legislative function and oversight function of Congress? Is there? Because if there is none, then we are not supposed to uh, uh, overextend the discussion or any manifestation because nobody is questioning that. And I think nobody could question that. E even the privileged speech of the Honorable Valeriano. I think the proper question there, the proper title is not asserting the power of the purse. We should not assert it because that power is inherent in us. Asserting or not asserting that power is of no moment. Yun po ay birthright. Yun po is inherent right of Congress. And let me make a record. The office of the Vice President, to my mind, did not undermine, did not undermine the power of the force. When she personally came in the first hearing and presented herself, including the budget by way of a PowerPoint presentation, she made a presentation, Mr. Chair. And after that, she made a categorical statement that she, she said, I forego, Madam Chair, I forego my opportunity to defend the budget of the office of the president by way of question and answer. And instead, I leave it to the discretion of the House of Representatives on their decision to decide on the proposal as presented. This is a very respectful answer, Mr. Chair. I did not find any offensive remark in that particular statement. She gave the entire House of Representatives the entire discretion, the entire right to decide on the proposal she presented before us. Why would we blame her for saying that she disrespected Congress? No, sir. I think it was triggered by the fact that questions were asked in relation to the, in, to the confidential and intelligence funds. To my mind, Mr. Chair, these particular funds were subjected to a notice of disallowance. But the notice of disallowance by its nature, by its very nature, Mr. Chair, is contestable. It is appealable. It is yet to be explained. And initially, as explained by the representative of COA, the notice of this allowance suffered by way of supporting documents, by way of non-compliance with certain requisites. What if the vice president is able to provide all the supporting documents? What if finally she is able to come up with the requisites required in order for you to come to, to consider that all these funds are eventually are allowable and they are not disallowed. And chances are she may be able to do that. Hindi po final judgment ang notice of disallowance. As a matter of fact, based on COA's own representation the other day, the Vice President received the notice of disallowance only on August 24, 2024. Which means, Mr. Chair, the Vice President has six months within which to reply and make an answer. That is correct, Madam Kowa. So six months is up to February 2025. We should give her all the allowance. We should all give her the time because six months is six months. So why are we rushing to make a judgment? As a matter of fact, as I have already initiated earlier, Mr. Chair, when you said that anything we can discuss in this committee provided that it is of public interest, and you said that intelligence funds and confidential funds are public interest, but I said because of our own rules, 
we should make a prior and preliminary determination that is directly and principally connected to malfeasance, misfeasance, or nonfeasance. We have not made that determination. How can, how can we now begin questioning whether or not the intelligence funds covered by an initial notice of this allowance is already re directly and principally connected with nonfeasance or misfeasance or malfeasance? Madam Koa, how many agencies of government today are subjected to notice of this allowance? Do you have a number? How many yeah. agencies Mr. today? Chair. With Mr. all due Chair. respect to the other uh, that is a question I will leave, and I yes. will terminate my, but, my, but, my manifestation, Madam. Yes, but I will. Uh, I, I would Mr. like Chair, to respond. This is still my time. Yes, but I would like to respond to your uh, manifestation, uh, Congressman Marcoleta. Parliamentary Let inquiry, me, Mr. Chair. Parliamentary inquiry. What is the parliamentary inquiry of uh, the I Honorable? I would like Bante. to ask the Honorable Marcoleta, is he rebuking this committee? What is the question, Mr. Chair? Are you rebuking this committee? Why am I supposed to rebuke the committee? I am You not. have been saying things for a while. What? You have been rebuking this committee. You we were not, that. We're not blaming the Vice President on this. I, I, Honorable I Marcoleta, I we are the not I mean, blaming... Right the the one minute suspension, suspension is the Chair. Move to suspend.